Hi guys, so Nadine Doris has conducted many interviews in her political career, but this has to have been the weirdest one yet. She had first refused to answer questions and then responded in a very strange manner. Now some people claim that she was drunk. Perhaps this is just Nadine Doris being Nadine Doris. Look, Boris Johnson knew what she was like when he hired her to be the culture secretary and it's highly unlikely that he chose her based on her intellect. Have a look at this. Have you spoken to the Prime Minister recently in the last 24 hours? Why? Why are you asking me that question? I'd like to know. Um, uh, on, we've, we've communicated. <laughs> what the hell is this? Have you spoken to the Prime Minister? Why? Uh, well, we'd like to know if you've communicated to him. Have, have you spoken to him? Like, notice how she wasn't able to say yes or no. It was a simple question. It wasn't a, a gotcha question. It wasn't a trick question. Have you spoken to the Prime Minister in the last 24 hours? Simple answer would be, yes, I have. I have spoken to him. And then the follow-up would be, well, what did he say? Or if she said, no, I haven't spoken to the Prime Minister in the last 24 hours. I'll be probably speaking with him tomorrow or the day after. This is, I'm, not, I'm really confused. That difficult question. I'm just asking if you've spoken to the Prime Minister in the last 24 hours. We have communicated. OK. What has he communicated to you? Well, that's, that's, I'm not going to tell you the extent of my communications with the Prime Minister. Then why the hell are you on TV? <laughs> why is the BBC interviewing you? Here's a question I have. And maybe you guys can answer it. Does Nadine Doris seek out the media for interviews or does the media seek out Nadine for these interviews? Because a lot of these interviews are extremely weird. And is there some, some type of practical joke going on, a running gag uh, amongst journalists? Let's, let's call up Nadine. She's going to be a lot of fun because she's obviously an idiot and she's not capable of answering questions. How did she get this post? Well, because she's a Boris Johnson sycophant and Boris Johnson knows she'll do exactly as she's told. I mean, I've answered your question. We have communicated. What is your next question? What's his mood? I'd say his mood was um, very, very uh, positive, extremely positive. I mean, onwards is one of his favourite expressions. I think he's very positive. Has he changed? Change what? His attitude. To what? To the way he runs the government. We're told that he sent out messages saying... You would imagine this was a parody. You would imagine this was a comedian pretending to be her. But it's not. It's her. I remember the quote him saying in the comments, I've got it. I get this about things that have been done wrong. And the implication was that he was going to do business slightly differently. Indeed, he sent a letter to backbench MPs saying there's going to be more interaction. So my question is a pretty fundamental one, which is the impression we're supposed to take now that Boris Johnson admits that things should have been done differently. And I think that's his words. And I'm not trying to change any meanings around that. The implication of that is somehow a different Boris Johnson is emerging. Is he exactly the same in your book? So your question was actually very open-ended and non-specific. Uh, no, it wasn't. It was, has Boris Johnson changed in some way? Now, I don't believe Boris Johnson has changed in any way. Boris Johnson is the, sta is the same charlatan he is today as he was yesterday. And Boris Johnson will be the, will be the same charlatan tomorrow. Uh, it was a very simple question. It required a very simple answer. Yes, he has changed. Or no, he hasn't changed. But what I would say is that the Prime Minister, when he appeared for the 22 Committee last week, promised change. And I think uh, I think anybody who picks up a newspaper or reads a newspaper, or receives a television news bulletin can see that a huge amount of change is underway at present, particularly in number 10. Um, it's not about whether change has taken place at number 10. Boris Johnson has promised change will take place. But the problem here at the centre is Boris Johnson himself. Has Boris Johnson changed? I don't believe he has changed. He will never change. He will pretend to change 
in order to convince the public that he has turned over a new leaf, that he is kicking out all the bad apples, throwing out all the bad apples uh, out of number 10 and starting afresh. But Boris Johnson is the core problem here. He's the one who has broken the rules. That's where the focus is. <laughs> the fact that we have these sycophants coming on trying to defend him and say, yes, change has taken place and are incapable of, of answering a question, has Boris Johnson changed? It's just ludicrous. But then Nadine Doris was hired because she's a sycophant. She's going to answer yes to every question Boris Johnson asks her. And uh, she's not going to create problems within the party and she's not going to create problems for the Prime Minister. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you thought about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.